We are here today at Salesforce Ben HQ in Shoreditch and we're lucky enough to be just down the road from Salesforce Tower where we're getting an exclusive look inside. So let's go. Usually it's completely off limits to YouTubers and bloggers, but we're celebrating their 25th birthday. So we've been allowed a special look inside. Salesforce is a true modern startup success story. While some of its competitors like Microsoft, SAP and Oracle were all founded in the 1970s, Salesforce was founded in 1999. And since then, in 25 years, it has boomed, owning 25% of the CRM market. Originally, Salesforce was founded upon Telegraph Hill in San Francisco out of a one-bedroom apartment. And now they have towers all over the world, including this one just behind me. But of course, the biggest one is in San Francisco, which is the tallest building in San Francisco and the second tallest building west of the Mississippi. So let's get a bit closer. <laughs> So here we are at Salesforce Tower, or it's officially known as 110 Bishop's Gate. It stands at 230 meters tall. It's the second tallest building in the city of London. It's also home to two restaurants. You've got Sushi Samba, uh, which is a sushi restaurant, and you've got Duck and Waffle at the very top, which is a 24-hour restaurant which serves, you've guessed it, duck leg on a waffle. And possibly one of my favorite things about the tower is the huge fish tank they've got in the lobby inside. It's over 70,000 liters in size. Uh, it's got over 1,200 fish with over 60 species. And it's also cleaned by three divers that actually have to get inside the tank to clean it. And it's the largest privately owned fish tank in the UK. So let's go take a look. Salesforce Tower has 46 floors with some fantastic external elevators that provide you with panoramic views of London. You climb to such a height that your ears will usually pop on the way up. Salesforce occupies multiple floors within the tower, each with a fully stocked kitchen with drinks and snacks and breakout areas for casual meetings. They have fully absorbed their trailblazer aesthetic and mantra into each floor, full of plants and trees and greenery. And of course, it's hard to miss the stunning views from every angle of the tower. But the creme de la creme of the office space has to be the Ohana floor. Sitting towards the very top of the tower, the space has been designed to host customers and guests of Salesforce and was actually opened by Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London back in 2019. The space is beautifully decorated and of course features Salesforce's famous characters dotted around with Astro at the piano being a permanent fixture. The Ohana floor also features a high-end kitchen producing snacks for employees and luxurious meals for guests of Salesforce. There is also an on-site barista producing a wide variety of unique coffees and teas for guests to enjoy while looking out at famous landmarks including the Gherkin and the Tower of London. Above the Ohana floor you have the SIC or Salesforce Innovation Centre. This space is used to host Salesforce customers and provide an area to brainstorm and flesh out the next evolution in companies' use of Salesforce's cloud solutions. As you can imagine, Salesforce likes to think of creative solutions to problems, and here you can see the results of a brainstorming session that a doodle artist helped sketch out. The SIC floor and the Ohana floor are then connected via a floating staircase accompanied by greenery and flowers. But don't take my word for how amazing the Salesforce Tower is, let's speak to a few employees. So my name is Sophia Lee, uh, I'm an experienced architect. Yeah, so my name is uh, Gedi Parahi, I'm a senior program architect. My name is Vanessa and I am a MuleSoft um, AE or account exec and I focus on the financial services industry. So first up, what's your favorite fish in the fish tank? Uh, the scuba diver that cleans the fish tank. Does that count as a fish? Oh, it's got to be Dory because I can never remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite fish? <laughs> um, you're kind of asking the wrong person because I'm actually kind of a afraid of fish. Oh, really? So I can say my least favorite, <laughs> the one that I'm most What's scared of. Um, it's the big white eels. It's the eels, yeah. It's my favorite one. Is it? Okay, <laughs> interesting. Opposite they of the They're terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and what is your fondest memory of working for Salesforce? Yeah, again, fondest memory was early on when I first uh, joined. Uh, this is before pandemic in 2017. And uh, when you join, uh, you know, as a new, new employee, they used to send us off to San Francisco, right, for a, a week's boot camp. And that was, that was fun, right, because it's kind of high energy, high octane. Uh, you know, there's like over 100, 150 people on a big floor, lots of different uh, classes, and they kind of submerge you in the Salesforce HANA culture and the products. And, uh, but actually what was impactful was the first day we landed, the first half a day, we had to go and do some volunteering work. 
So I remember going to a warehouse where we were packing food for homeless people that were gonna be shipped out. And that was kind of the ethos of the company that we do this give back. And, and I think that was quite impressive, actually quite impactful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sushi Samba or Duck and Waffle? Sushi Samba, I've been there. Uh, enjoy the food, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sushi Samba or Duck and Waffle? Sushi Samba, 100%, yeah. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Sushi Samba or Duck and Waffle? Mm, I actually haven't, mm, Sushi Samba. I haven't had it, but I have had Duck and Waffle. So I'll let that answer my, answer the question. That's, that's a three strikes, everyone said Sushi Samba. Okay. Do you have a favorite perk of working in sales? Uh, I think my favorite perk is probably the barista bar on the Ohana floor. Because I think a lot of companies, I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate, you're doomed to have bad coffee, but we get good coffee at the barista bar, and that's great. Nice. But do you have a favorite place in the tower? Yeah, probably the barista bar. What's your barista order from uh, the Ohana floor? Oh, I'm a sort of latte, latte fan. I'm, actually, to be honest, I'm a tea drinker, but once a day at least latte, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll keep me going. <laughs> Oat flat white. <laughs> and what do you enjoy most about working in Salesforce? Um, I think to build on that, like the just the people that I get to work with. Like I just get to work with really, really smart, intelligent, interesting people um, that are also my friends. So I get to hang out with my friends every day. Um, and with working on different projects, different customers, I also get to work in all sorts of different industries that I never would have been exposed to. Um, so I think it's the variety that really kind of keeps me excited and engaged. I mean, similar to what I've been feeling so far, I enjoy the people, the culture, and also the challenge of it. Um, I feel like there's always something to learn, there's always new technologies, and so it doesn't feel like I'll be bored anytime soon. Um, and yeah, the people in the culture, I feel like I've already made quite a few friends as well. So that's been great. It doesn't feel like I'm going to, you know, spend a dreary nine hours in the office. It feels like I'm going to work and do something productive, but surrounded by people that I enjoy being around. Nice. All right. All, All done. Is that it? That's it. Cool. Thank you very much. Cool. Excellent. Nice. Thank you very much. <sighs>